hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be showing you how to make use of this domestic sewing machine this is a zuki floral sewing machine zuki floral 5000 as you can see here and this machine you don't connect it directly to the light you connect it to a step this is a step down from here you plug it into here then you put it to the light if not you're going to burn the motor and um this is the current case of the machine that's to cover it from dust and any any kind of you know form of dirt from entering the machine and then this machine doesn't have a foot pedal uh, this machine is very suitable for any person who is disabled from the leg you know you can use your leg to step on the machine you can make use of this machine it doesn't need that or it just needs it's just turn it okay after you turn it on here this is still on but without the light then if you go like this the light turns on so and then you click here to start and if you want to stop sewing you also stop it so this here controls the speed let me show you if you want it to so slow you can see if you the more you move it like this it increases so one thing i like about this machine aside from always having one problem or the other is that it is easily movable and it doesn't consume a lot of space as you can see it's a small machine and it can fit to any side you want to place the sewing machine it's it's really it's a beautiful machine and um please if you're still watching now please hit on the subscribe button thank you so much so that aside um this is how you operate you can go from here and leave this up you can bring this out here you bring the bobbin case you see this how the bobbin looks like there's actually a chart in it so it has with a chart then i'll place this in because i'm going to make use of it now and it has different this is um I don't really know what that's for. I don't, I don't really have the use to need it. So here are different photos. Here is like the two-sided zip. All set. Everything is complete. And then this is another photo. This is the rolling hem photo. It has different foods. I don't really want to waste your time. Let me just check you to one that you know. This is um, the buttonhole photo. But the, this machine, I've been trying to use the buttonhole foot. It's not been working for me. I've gone through the instructions. I've seen on YouTube, but it's not just working for me. I don't know. And if you want to reel your reeler, you put this. You put it at this side. Let me take it up for you so you can see what I mean. You place the reeler here and just put it here. Once it, if I put it on here, it won't be moving. But here will be raining if you can see very well you can see the movement let me move you can see it's actually rotating here but here is not moving so if i turn it off push it back turn it on you can see now this is moving so i don't want to overwork this machine because like i said it has a little problem okay now so the problem with this kind of machine though this machine is a good brand zuki is very durable it's very heavy this is not plastic body this is like metal body ouch this is like metal body if you can hear the way i'm hitting it like it's really 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 strong and it's just the issues i've had with this since i bought it when i bought it it had belt problem i changed the belt later i had fault i changed it again so it's it's when it comes to visiting the technician this kind of machine you always get to have to take it it always has one issue or the other that is one of the like the greatest disadvantage of having all this handheld you always need to take it to have it fixed or one thing or the other and it is where you put the tread if you put the tread you just lock it in close it in if it's a big kind of tread you can just remove this you won't need it but if it's not you put a smaller kind of tread in let me show you you put this kind of tread in and secure it so it doesn't move out so that's what this tread is so um let me just say i had bad luck in buying the machine i'm not um i bought this second hand it wasn't brand new so maybe that's why i didn't have luck with it so 
this is the machine there's the front this is how good the back looks like um and for this machine is great for like if you have like um, a job you need um, an outside job for i advise you to you know get something like this maybe a brand new one brand new ones are actually pricey so that in case you need something to move around with you know you want to travel from here to a far place but i advise you not to buy the metal one if you need it for traveling so it doesn't accumulate too much kg for you as weight so that you don't get to pay extra charge every time you're traveling the other plastic ones that are very good you have different brands you know you have the brother um but okay let me go into mentioning brands don't look like i'm marketing for any brand so there are different kinds in the market a whole world in the market so you can just scroll down browse you know check which one is the best which one is not and you make your your pick so this is about the um, um machine and i'm going to talk about um the next machine right now so guys this is the manual sewing machine and one of the features is not that which is known for is the leg pedaling side which is the footer let me show you that so guys this is the leg pedaling um side of the machine um which is used to control the movement of the fabric or the movement of the machine if you want me to show you how to do that leave me a comment i'll get right to it so okay this is how you pedal the machine you can see the movement how i'm i'm pedaling it you can see so but see how what is doing how it's controlling the machine it goes up and down you, you can see so it also has this handheld feature which you can use to control the machine and it also has an attachment this is the motor which you can plug to an electricity so it will be controlled so to connect change it from manual to electricity you're going to attach this belt at, at that point where that um rope is and connect it to the motor automatically it's converted into electrical you just use the paddle and you have an electrical sewing machine this machine is very um suitable for people who stay in areas where there is no electricity you can make good use of it without worrying about um the light issues and it's also good for it's also good for people who don't have space you can always convert the table make it in a way that it's small so it can fit your space and the machine has a very good stitch regulator you can move it up and down as you can see it go it up is going back stitch then down is to move forward this part is for reeling thread and you can unscrew it to tighten if you put the reeler in and to also loosen it but it doesn't work anymore so this machine is very affordable and also durable it can last for a good number of years and also you can make use of a button holder foot you have to just lift up the lever and you unscrew the footer and change to put the button hole it also has zigzag stage uh, um, um zipper foot this is a zipper foot i'm showing you to use to attach your footer all you do is loosen this put it and you can fix your zipper so simple so easy to use it has other foot that i don't have right now to show you but this is a zipper foot which i make use of for the machine so this machine is a beautiful machine you can see it's a beautiful butterfly machine and it has been in the family for 30 years plus and this machine doesn't require the assistance of a technician you can always clean and oil and service it yourself except if something is actually broken I actually made a video on how to clean and service this machine and honestly a lot of people really love this video the video i made so i'm going to leave a link in the description box if you want to know how i oiled and service the machine by yourself and so i hope you've been able to uh, um, understand my explanation on how wonderful this machine is so this is all about this beautiful machine this wonderful 
blackhead machine so let's get right into um the next machine which is the industrial sewing machine all right guys so this is the industrial sewing machine um it's a uh, email brand is the latest version of industrial sewing machine you can it's turned off right now and you can see it's called the m2 email m2 so the m1 which is the first brand it makes use of a clutch motor which is that very big fat motor but this machine makes use of a uh, seven motor and you have to operate it with this tv guide this is a tv fridge guide um so you don't burn the servo motor so how you make use of this um um motor um the machine is that you're going to get the plug and you're going to plug it into the servo motor as you see then you plug it to the wall i've done that and i'm going to turn it on at the back after like two seconds it comes on you can see the lights will show and also the needle will go up and down to show that it is turned on this p side is programmed why the s is speed you can use it to control the speed however you want it either you go higher as you can see 21 24 i'm going higher you can go as much as 37 which is the highest and for the list you can go down it can be as low as uh 200 so and this is how to step on the machine you can see on this the foot side you just press a little on it and it moves just a little press and it moves so you, you make sure you're controlling the speed make sure you're not putting it to so i'm going to be showing you the speed you can see at 200 that's the speed at 400 you can see the speed i'm just you know showing you how fast it can go that's just basically what i'm just showing you the up down movement you can see how fast it is you might not see the needle moving but watch the thread you can see how it's going up and down you can see that it is moving and it's going fast so i love this machine so much it's so durable it's a wonderful you, you can see i'm con this is the speed regulator you can control the speed if you're someone who you're so scared to buy use an industrial sewing machine because of the speed please buy this machine because you can always control the speed to whatever level you can take but i always advise you don't get comfortable so you can always increase your speed so this is a servo motor like i said i'll show you this is how small it is this small thing is what is controlling the machine like i mean <laughs> but <laughs> very very small but very very wonderful it doesn't make noise at all like i can be sewing literally even in the middle of the night and no one will know i'm sewing so i'm also going to post the link in the description box on how you can oil and you know service this machine but in terms of servicing it's not um everything i like i'm not meant to touch this upper side there's some sides i do not open is meant for a technician um that is not just, it's just only a few parts i'm allowed to touch like this part and this uh, side part so aside those two parts i actually do not mess around with this machine so i do not do something that um yeah i can't actually fix up so yeah and one thing i another thing i love about this machine is it has this beautiful equal stitch length you know it gives an equal stitch no matter the speed or whatever it is you're sewing this machine will last you a very long time like really a really really long time it's very efficient if you need to sew something that you need very fast please invest in this machine yes this sewing machine is very expensive but it's good and another disadvantage of it is it only works with electricity so if you're in nigeria like me you need to invest in like a, a generator and it's in its space thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye subscribe please